And we are doing a couple tests here. This is not going to be your normal stream. It's going to be uh, disjointed. It's not going to be exactly what we're hoping to see at times. Uh, we are uh, testing a lot of things out with some software right now and some different setup. Uh, we got a brand new computer and we are it's it's really different <laughs> because now we have a, a true two PC streaming environment. We have a main computer for gaming, which is what we have this wonderful game built on right now. Uh, and we're hoping that we can get a number of things settled here. It's also, uh, we might lose some signal for a second while we switch things over for a second. Uh, I'm supposed to be live. YouTube, why is your thing so horrible? Are we not streaming on the right channel? Um, huh. Let's uh, figure this shit out. That's the reason why we did this on the show, because there's probably going to be a couple of wordy dirds. And, uh, weird. Okay. Well. It said to go live, and did it even get us live? Well, let's try this real quick. Make sure we're not live on the main channel. It doesn't say we're live on the main channel. So, hey, Drew, we got some really weird stuff going on. All right, so we, 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 we don't have everything figured out yet. So we will get that done ASAP. Let's get the game back up at least. So learning to two mouse, two keyboard. Man, I don't like the new YouTube setup. The new YouTube setup is just really, really bad. And I don't know why the hell they decided they had to be stupid about it. But that's really what it boiled down to. So. YouTube stream studio thing is garbage. <laughs> it is super garbage. I I would dare say to say that it's hot garbage right now, guys. Um, so let's go to the YouTube studio beta, as dumb as it is, and say, oh hell no. Let's go back to Creator Classic and. Hate you for even asking for feedback, YouTube. All right. Okay. So ah, this one's a problem there. All right. So, new computer, getting it all set up. We decided to not set it up with our main account. So we gotta get, um, that's what's going on. Almost there, guys. Almost there. 
I can almost see everybody. Man, this thing is just really cumbersome. is for things to be back the way they were so I can get everything fixed okay so there we go um, now all right the goats looking nice yeah the, the goatee is looking nice it's uh, pretty long um, that's not what that's supposed to be. This is supposed to be pandemic. Well, if this gets taken down because of YouTube, I'm gonna be very upset. All right, so yeah, the, the goatee is pretty good. Um, it's been growing for a while now. The uh, and there's the. I mean, that's the ponytail man, the man bun. It's 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 growing out super long. All right, so I'm to a point to where I can like read comments. That's all I wanted to be able to do. And it just took us forever to get there. All right, so here we go. So we're gonna be testing, you know, levels, audio, how the game audio plays out. Uh, we're, we're, again, we're using a much different setup um, than before. You may notice there's no headset. <laughs> we actually are using a real stream mic. Um, way different computer. Now this is a game, guys, that it's going to be really weird to say this, but it's a Battle Royale game. And it is by far the, the funnest shit that I've played Battle Royale in a, in a while. It, it's got some, you know, some customization options. Um, the, the big thing about it, though, is the way the Battle Royale's played out. 30 people, all one level, all at once, you zone in, and then as you zone in, once 30 people get there, all of a sudden somebody becomes infected by the zombie virus. And we're, you know, we, we are going to be doing a review of this on the main channel at some point, but it's real good. So far, it's sadly, unfortunately, as good as the game is, it's a great game. The game is amazing by Tiny Build. Uh, these guys are awesome. But there is a small minor issue with the game. And that is it blew up for a second and then it slowly died. <laughs> I wish I had a better way to say it than that. But the, the the game's great, it's amazing, it's a battle royale game to where when you die, you respawn as the opposition. You become a zombie if you're not a zombie to begin with. And it's humans versus zombies and there's always going to be a clear side that's winning the game. And you're never going to be just out of the game. But there are some serious, as you can tell, there's some serious server problems on this thing, guys. It, it's taken a while to load up <laughs> and this is all dedicated on the computer it's got its own computer to play games on now it's not like in the past where we had everything shared <laughs> so I'm really kind of getting weirded out by how long it's taken for this to happen and black screens not good either so far, the streaming computer's rocking, though. All right, so I'm about to get used to that too. I can now actually like load up the uh, mute hall. All right, load up the, uh, the Steam stuff. So you know, it's waiting for 30 players, and we've been trying to do a review on this game. You're trying to do a review on this game on the main channel for a very, very, very long time. And when we first came out, we, we did some recordings, and the recordings were going all right. And we were getting there, you know, we were getting some stuff going. It was pretty cool. Uh, we had a couple games in. As you can see, we're level two. And we found out that we really had to turn down the volume on all the players. 
because the community on this is hella toxic. I mean, oh dear God, is it toxic? And it, it's not, you know, it's not League of Legends toxic. Let's let's just say that, right? Let's just get that out of the way. But the problem with it is, is I would log in, I would zone in, and there would be some tween immediately talking about someone's father figure or someone's sister or some family member that they were going to do horrible violent impolite things to and so we we had you know a pretty good amount of footage and it was just ruined and so we had to redo the whole thing and lo and behold we uh we wound up finding out that when we had the next weekend free that the game had died and that really makes me sad because this was the first and I do mean the first Battle Royale game that I, I truly played that was like wow it's a Battle Royale game and it uh it was just amazing But the big problem is, as you notice, I just put in the little chat window in the, over there. Boy, I'm about to get used to that too, with the screens on the different sites and all that. Um, school has started back up. So in a game like this, it's trying to take advantage of popularity. And let's see if I can get this guy to be knocked off the edge. Come on, come on. I mean, it's, it's got some crazy physics. All right, there he goes. Um, but so, so the the game just you know just died, and I mean it was like out of nowhere, no one was playing it anymore. And it's unfortunate, but it does uh, it does actually become a really good game for us to practice our stream with. And it's it's just such a great like experience too. I mean, the, the level is just amazing the way it's built out. Uh, it has such great promise for different zones. It's got some parkour stuff to it. But yeah, so you can tell, you know. We'll exit to the main menu, and we'll let you guys see what the real world looks like. Um, so, the premise, and we can get better in here when we get to training and go into warm-up. There's nothing on warm-up. There's nobody playing warm-up because it's a single-player experience. It's a way for it, and this is... I love this. This blew my ever-loving mind, guys. Um, here we are. We start off in outside of the train station. And again, this is training mode, right? You can hold, switch the weapons out. You get to actually practice with the weapons. But more than that, this is the map. This right here, this wonderful little thing here. This is the actual game map. This is when you're playing Battle Royale. Their practice mode is the whole entire map. You can actually practice all sorts of crazy stuff, like parkour slide jumps, to double jumps, uh, to let's see here, what was it? Wall jumping. I mean, it's got so much stuff. Now you can tell it's it's pretty well unfinished. Uh, here is one of the cooler things that I found out you can do. You can walk on the telephone lines. And this is what the whole game was about, is zombies spawn at these different train stations when they die. But your job is to take the train and just ride around to all these train stations, keeping it protected, because the train does have some hit points. The zombies can destroy the train entirely. But yeah, I mean, and that's, that's what the whole premise of this game was. Um, Sorry about all this. Check the levels and whatnot. 
And just to kind of give you an idea, when you were a zombie, you'd spawn in here. You'd spawn a little higher up. And this is one of the other things that I thought was really cool, is that the zombie team would be able to ambush the train by popping out of the, the train stations. And again, the only thing, the only knock against this game is nobody's playing anymore. And the community was horribly toxic for people that want to just, you know, talk. Um, and I mean, see right there's the power slide. And you slide forever. Until you no longer are going downhill. I mean, again, it's got some really interesting physics. The shop is amazing. Um, the fact that you could just practice all you wanted. You know, warm up and get used to your buttons. Practice, you know, doing 360 jumps. You know, figure out you gotta up your mouse uh, sensitivity for that kind of stuff. But, I mean, all in all, just an amazing game. But unfortunately, it, uh, it, it sort of sort of didn't last as long as we need to. Alright, that's another thing I was hoping. So, one thing you were, may or may not know because of the headset uh, is that I am sitting right beside the air conditioning vent in my apartment. And so I want to see if my snowball mic is going to pick up that or if it's something that I don't have to worry about. I'm trying to see how much white noise we got. And that's just the kind of stuff that you really can't do pre-recorded. I'm also checking how how well this computer is handling the screen because the computer I got is pretty beefy. I mean, it's an i7 16 gig of RAM, and it's you know about a 9,000 um, score on the CPU score. So you know there is that. Probably get to the train by going backwards more than anything. Let's see, you can kind of tell where the train is when you got the map open in, in multiplayer, but not so much in the in this mode. Oh, there's you know springs. Oh wow, targets. No third person for you. That was another issue that I kind of had, but with the way they got the game set up, it was useful to not have. But yeah, um, so I, you know, I was telling everybody on on Twitter and on Facebook that we was going to do a test stream here today, and so far, I think we've gotten everything we wanted out of this. I don't know how. Oh, that was a melee button. I never even found the melee button. Ow. Oh. That was the drop button. I remember that now. But yeah, all in all, you know, the game was really sweet, and it just unfortunately had uh, the internet kill it. So maybe we'll... Oh. Yeah, this is another fun one for, for all of the stuff you get. One thing you'll notice, there's no scopes, which is kind of interesting, but if you're actually playing the game, you'll, you'll notice that there's not a reason for scopes. Here's our train. I'll do another, another run on the train real quick. Physics is also kind of crazy in how the uh, I tried to see the stream report on that for a second. But yeah, the, the physics is pretty crazy because if you're like approaching players as a zombie, the stream of bullets would be so fast and furious that you'd almost be able to walk across the bullets, which is kind of nuts.
but I mean, fun game, real fun game. Just, uh, I just don't know why so many people just basically stopped. Yeah, that, that was, you know, that was, you know, just the timing was just bad. Yeah, well, guys, this has been kind of a, a test stream. We'll, we'll leave it up so people can kind of see and get an idea about this game. Uh, that way we can also review it tomorrow morning when we get in from the office. It's going to take about an hour for this thing to process thanks to, to YouTubes. Um, but, you know, this, uh, everything on the levels looks like it's probably going to be okay. I, I can't swear it. And if it's not going to be okay, then I get a whole entire day to try to fix it. So there is that. But, uh, yeah. Turtle Club, thanks for chilling with me on Shelf Fans. Thanks for hanging out for a bit. Uh, 20 minutes is kind of the minimum that YouTube requires for this kind of stuff, so we're making sure we get that 20. And we, uh, we are... Yeah, everything still looks pretty good, but we won't know until we actually, you know, get the, get the replay. I'm hoping that the game's not drowning out the mic. That's kind of my concern. But we won't know until we, you know, so uh, guys, have a good one. Thanks for hanging out with me. Take care.